All right, July 25th. Open the cattle up to a new pasture. Uh, I just dug this out yesterday, so I can see they found it last night. A treasure, wild red raspberry. Now, you don't get too many of these. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of goodness there. It'll be really hot weather. We're going to have weather in the 90s, high humidity coming up next couple days. Woods here provides a lot of cover for for them. Be a lot cooler in here. For one day they've been down in this swale getting this uh some canary grass down in here they've been eating. Some of this is that manna fowl grass, duck grass. Um it's a native, actually. It's kind of a woodland, wetland native. This is a uh, woodland nettle or wood nettle. Does not sting you as bad as a uh, stinging nettle does. There's your, oh, there's your stinging nettle right there. That stuff really, that nails you pretty good. There's your wild American hazel. Good luck ever getting a hazelnut off of one of them things. I think I found them. I can hear them wrestling. Hey, kids. How you doing? Yeah, I wanted to get them in this field because of the uh, heat we got going on coming this week. These are blackberries. I'll tell you what, a new element in the hay forecast, at least in my area, is having to look at the... Uh, amount of wildfire smoke in the air and so i've included that into my uh forecasting when i'm doing uh calculating whether or not to do hay i went to the uh epa has an air quality website and it'll have a forecast current conditions and forecast map for wildfire smoke because now I mean, we're gonna have a really hot day, but it is it is really hazy out. And it is gonna do, you know, that's, right now the dew still isn't coming off and it's like noon. And uh, got thunderstorms on the way tomorrow. Real severe storms by afternoon. So now that's something we, we didn't used to have to really worry much about wildfire smoke. That wasn't a, phenomena years ago that we were really worried about affecting our summertime hay and weather you know um, and now last couple of years we've had few days every summer this summer it's the worst because it's coming mostly from Canada we've had some forest fires in Michigan but most of that smoke doesn't come south where I'm at and uh, they say normally in Canada they're burning like four million acres a year, and I guess now it's it's up to like 15 million this year. So um, the two most important factors for doing hay are the uh, amount of sun and the humidity. Uh, two things that that wildfire smoke really actually affects a lot i'm the smart one my equipment's parked today just went and got the moisture tester joe's gonna try to make some bales so one of my other friends hey this just got caught yesterday well he came out at nine this morning and retetted this and it is almost dry i can't believe it, it was cut yesterday got done it yesterday afternoon and it got a little bit of rain on it yesterday late late afternoon i can't believe it So this is clover trefoil hay that's been sitting here. It's got rained on twice. Tomorrow we got pretty good forecast for rain and probably cloudy all day. So now he's just deciding. So if you go in the bale from the flat side like this, 12.8.
Now, you're supposed to actually go in the harder, more resisting side, but these damn nut wraps, I went right through there, let me go. Nut wraps, kind of tough to get through. So 28, he does got some dust flying off the baler. So, you know, it's one of those, you know, calculated decision. Um, bail it or not have any chance. I told him, I've had legume hay, like alfalfa and stuff, baled under 30% and just let it sit outside and don't, don't stack and tarp it or put it in the barn. And um, he's got real dry spots there with all the dust coming off there. And uh, I think you can bale alfalfa hay wetter than you can grass hay and keep it as, uh, you know, as cattle hay. 37. Ooh, that ain't good. Yeah, I think it's just going to be wet clumps and not wet clumps. 30. So this bale's wet. It's outside row, but. That's where, yeah, this bale, this bale probably just going to mold right up. So, so it happens. The clover just turns black. I don't smell any. I mean, it, it's a, it, it's, they it don't smell fresh. This in our part of the country, you start getting mold on stuff. And once the hay molds, you're screwed. And you can see you still hazy. At this point, you just want to believe this uh, measurement on the flat face and ignore everything else. I'm out here at Jerry's field. Let's see. So this is just, this field, it's kind of like, 24 hours ago, eh, 30%. So, he's gonna make these cow bales. Uh, because, if I see they got the square baler here in hopes that they're gonna be able to square bale tomorrow. 26%, so yeah. These trees is some of my second cutting alfalfa that has been ready for a couple weeks. So this got tetted twice, once yesterday after they cut, but you can see the effect of tetting this stuff twice. It's it's a lot of stem now, but um, that's probably why it's drying out. I mean. So we got some stem moisture. Still pretty impressive. He's over there bailing that in 24 hours. They got 24 hour hay and it got rained on once already. Test these. All right, I just had to check for a little bit here, help him with the twine. Had a problem with the twine feed out of one ball. But uh, yeah, he's actually, you know, with as high moisture as it is, I mean, it'll pass for cow hay. I don't know if I'd sell this stuff or not. But uh, with the rain, now we got 70% chance of severe storms. Well, we got rain again today, even though no rain was forecasted. So there you go. However, there were fronts. There were fronts forecasted. When they say there's a front over our state and they're forecasting no rain, I'm always leery of that. There's a lot of moisture in the area, you know, in the atmosphere. So, here you go. Uh, interesting, some people bailed hay that was only on the ground 24 hours and it rained both days. I mean, the hay is not dry. Not, not dry enough to put in a hay mow or anything. I've been trying to stack those round bales for four days now, I can't get them dried off enough to stack. I just got a few stacked here before this rain showed up. 